we're going to be learning weather for the rest of the week. What is weather? Well, weather is what's happening around you. Yesterday was sunny. It was warm. I had on a t-shirt. Today it's much colder. I've got on a long top. So, what's happening outside? Is it rainy? Is it snowy? Is it sunny? Is it overcast? Is it cold? Windy? That kind of thing is what we're going to be learning about. Today there's clouds. I can still see a little bit of blue sky when I look up. So that means it's partly cloudy. And if we can see no blue, then it's going to be fully overcast. So I don't know what the weather's going to change, especially seeing it's going to be freezing tomorrow and the next day. So we'll have to watch and see what the clouds are doing. So it might turn overcast later, or else we might get some sun, hopefully some sun. Today we're going to learn about the wind. Now nobody's actually seen the wind, but you can see the wind as it moves through the trees and through the leaves, and especially as the leaves drop down. But today there's not much wind. There's a tiny little breeze. It's not even strong enough to move my hair. It's not windy enough to do anything much. So we'll have to go inside and use a fan. Now watch what happens if it's a windy day. Have a look at my hair. Can you see my hair is blowing? If I turn sideways, watch how my hair is going to go now. It goes right over my face. You always know that the wind is blowing hard when you look at the branches of the trees and the leaves. Look at this dog's hair. It often blows a lot at the beach. What else do we use the wind for? Well, the wind is wonderful when you want to fly a kite. If you have no wind, your kite's not going to fly. This guy has got a windsurfer and it uses the wind to make the surfboard go along. Also, no wind, no windsurfer. There's another wonderful thing that we use the wind for and it's for making power. Sometimes they burn coal to make power, sometimes they use water in a dam, but in places that it's windy, they use these big propellers that turn round and round as fast as anything, and that's how they make power. A windmill uses the wind to make its top go round so that it can pump water from the ground. In the old days, they used to have a weather vane on top of the roof. And it often used to have a cock-a-doodle-doo, a rooster at the top, and it was to show which way the wind was blowing. So the wind moves this part and it shows you, does the wind come from the north, the south, the west or the east? Today we're going to do a picture of a little girl flying a kite. And that is a perfect thing to do when it is windy. First thing you're going to do is to do your kite. So remember that's like a strange squash square. There's normally a cross in the middle because um, kites have different colors. So you can make each one of those diamond, sorry, each one of those triangles a different color. Then we're going to do the tail of the kite and the tail is going to come down like this or the string of the kite. Draw the little girl in pencil so that you can go back and rub out the lines that you don't want. We're going to draw a head and we're going to do a body. Her arms are both going to be holding the kite and her legs are going to be over there with her shoes also pointing in the same direction. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put on her dress. And this is why you might need to have a pencil to rub out. If the wind is blowing hard this way, her dress is going to be blowing. So make her dress blow like that. And you can take your rubber and rub out that middle part that you don't want. And now we're going to color it in. I'm just going to give her matching orange shoes. 
Now her hair is also going to be blowing in the wind. So instead of it nicely on either side, her hair is going to be blowing off to the side because there's a really strong wind. You won't see any part of her face, no ears, no nose, no nothing, just hair. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to put on the wind. Now, we can't see wind, but wind is movement of air. So I want you to do some curly, some woo, some roundies. And it just all shows that the wind is moving. So you can either leave your picture wind like that, or if you want to be really smart and you've got pencil crayons at home, what you're going to do is get a sharpener and with your pencil, sharpen like this. Take off the little bit of wood and throw it out and then round your wind you put the blue shaving and you're going to take your finger and go in the direction of your wind. So I've still got blue on my finger, so I'm going to, and it almost makes for a smudgy, a smudgier look, which makes it look quite fancy. If not, just leave it how it was. So again, I've got the blue on my finger and just smudge it around there. And it gives quite a nice feeling of wind and one, two. Yeah. Make your up next of that. Okay, so now you can get the feeling of air. Last thing you need to do is do some grass underneath where the little girl is because you can't have her standing in space. If you decide to do a little boy, it's exactly the same. Give him slightly shorter hair um, to blow in the wind. If you want to give your kite some little ties, some pretty little like ribbons, often people do it so that it will blow in the wind and it looks pretty. So you can do that as well. Add lots of colour, make it look good. And there you'll have your windy day picture.